Hey guys, it's Matt with Bleepin' Jeep. Like I told you before, building this Jeep is just problem solving. What the heck was that? So building this Jeep is just problem solving, one problem after another. So uh, let me show you the problem I've got today. So I made this custom bracket here that holds my suspension. So right here, the ORI's mount, which holds the weight of the entire vehicle. I've got this custom bracket that ties into the truss, and then it also is welded to the upper part of the C here. The problem is the C comes up and it, it's kind of curved and it bends out like this. So I had to curve this quarter inch bracket the same way. So then when you go to put the bolt through, this was a half inch hole. I opened it up, I'll show you why here in a minute. But when you go to put the bolt through, the bolt head and the bolt nut doesn't sit flat if I were to do it like that. So here is the solution. I bought these uh, from TMR Customs. So these are some I think they're meant for uh, shock hoops, but they're going to work great for this purpose. So it's a half inch hole on the inside, and it's a one inch diameter on the outside. So what I did was I cut a one inch hole, I just enlarged that from half inch to one inch, and then I'm going to put these in here. I'll need to cut them down a little bit because they're too long but once I do that I can weld this around here and I will have a flat spot for that bolt head to bolt down to. So here's the entire thing. This is the ORI uh, spacers. These are the TMR custom spacers. I've got it all bolted together. This is where the ORI is going to sit right in here. So, once you bolt that all together, this is what you end up with. And I just need to cut it down probably about a quarter inch on the outside of each side, just enough so I can get a weld, nice weld around the outside of there. And that straightens up what was something crooked. So let's go ahead and mark these where I need to cut them. Probably right about there I would say. And the back side right about there. So I'll label this one. Um, let's see this is the rear and this will be the front. Now make sure you cut this as straight as you can Otherwise, you defeat the whole purpose of doing this. All right, so there it is shortened down. I put it all back together, this time with a shorter bolt. And all we need to do now is weld it in place. Now remember when you weld something like this you want to keep it tightened down with the bolt and you also want to leave your spacers in there. But I do want to put something around those spacers so that they don't get messed up. Um, I think some, some tape ought to do the job. Just something to keep the splatter off of it while I'm welding this up.
sure when you're welding close to your ball joints you don't get those too hot. Alright, let's see how we did here. It's nice and tight now because everything expanded when it got hot. need a little bit of work but other than that I think it's gonna hold okay problem solved well if you need anything like that in the future remember I got those at TMR customs but they also make all kinds of uh, brackets and tabs and things like that so uh, I think it's tmrcustoms.com I appreciate you watching make sure to hit the thumbs up guys and subscribe we'll see you next time